I really want to see Vermont thrive. I want to see Vermonters thrive. I want us all to be doing business here, raising families here, staying here, and really growing our businesses, but also providing for each other, right? And so whether it's marketing or food or whatever, we're all part of this great ecosystem, and it's super important um, that we're all super successful. So we all work together and row the boat in, in one direction. So when we talk about classic marketing, we're talking about the four P's being the foundation of what you're doing. Who are you trying to reach? What is your product? Where is it placed? And how are you going to promote it? That is social media. So a lot of times, and I talk to a lot of people who are like, that's great, we used to do direct mail and we used to do all this stuff, but we don't want to do any of that anymore. We only want to do social media. Without understanding marketing in general, like the basics of marketing, you can't make that decision. Right? You, because you don't know who you're trying to reach and how you're trying to get there. Who are you trying to reach? So part of Marketing 101 is really understanding who's your audience and who are you trying to reach? Who is buying your product and who is the consumer? So when you think about how these people consume media, it is very different. So I've kind of pulled out three different um, channels, social media channels that you need to be thinking about right now as a Vermont small business. LinkedIn is the only business to business, person to person network that's out there and its sole purpose is business. So the next one is a big one, it's Facebook. For your business, you have to have it. And so if you are marketing to baby boomers, millennials, Gen X, Gen Z, even though millennials and Gen Z are not necessarily using it, Facebook archives to Google and it has so much Google juice in it that the SEO is so important, that search engine optimization. So if you Google the name of your business and you have a Facebook page, it will usually be the first or second hit of that Google search. So just by giving your business a Facebook page, very easy to do, you automatically will get more social media juice, more search engine optimization um, by having that Facebook page. Instagram, most popular with millennials and with Gen Z. If you want to reach Gen Z and millennials, this is where you need to be. Here is where this device comes in. Has anybody seen anything that looks like this before? This you can buy for $8 on Amazon. It has a little clip on it. And in fact, this seems to work phone, any phone will do, like so. And it is a selfie light. And this gives you stage lighting or the bright lighting for anything. You need to tell your Vermont story. To tell your story, again, we talked about ripcord, video, and photos. Making sure, and, and these two, the video and photos, is called Rich Media. You want to make sure that you're balancing what you do with written word and rich media. And your partner is going to tell you from what you've said to them what stuck out and jumped out to them most. What you'll find from that, or what your takeaway is going to be from that, that one thing that they're telling you, is that's the thing you should be leading on social media with because you don't see it. You don't see it in your business, right? Like, you're like, this is so important and this is something that I love and this is what makes us special. But oftentimes, it's something else. I mean, we're on a farm with 600 acres and these fabulous cows, and oh yeah, by the way, we, we grow sunflowers that are taller than like seven feet tall, and oh yeah, but that's nothing. Guess what? Those sunflowers, that picture of those seven foot tall sunflowers, 